<laughs> Creepy ain't the word, freaky ain't the word, sneaky ain't the word. See what I've observed is there's no easy way to describe this geeky place. Even geeky place doesn't tell you what I need to say. This is strange hill where we're talking frog can eat your face. It's very, very random, you'll get used to these debates if you stick around. Although I wouldn't recommend it, when they use the name strange, mate, they really meant it. There's some things in life with which you just don't mess. On every vest I got the letters S O S. Cause you never know what might be lurking around the corner and what it might do if they ever found us for you. Keep the lights on in the hallways all day. Things won't always tend to go your way. Watch your back and be prepared. Can't wait for free food. See you then. Yeah, sorry. Um, that was a bit cringe. What I'm about to share with you is considered to be something from my childhood. So y'all better not judge, or else. Huh, this guy's really weird. What? Ah, ah! Strange Hill High, made in 2013. Mainly known for its odd style and branding for old bland rap music. This show is considered to be so nostalgic to a point where I used to watch Cartoon Network on cable. However, that's not where I found this show. Because I found it on Netflix somewhere between the years of 2016 and 2018. And I gotta say, this show was amazing. When I re-watched the show, I felt the exact same way as I did when I first watched it, only I can see the editing errors a bit more clearly. But for what it is, it's still good as it first was. Clearly, this doesn't deserve top-of-the-line respect for what it has to offer, but it's still nice to look at something as old as this, because it kind of has that feeling, you know? It's like that feeling when you get when you finally scratch that one spot in your back you were unable to scratch until you were of age. Oh uh, yeah. However, due to the nature of things not lasting forever, except Teen Titans Go, the the show was soon taken down on January of 2020, which honestly I believe was a bad choice on their part because that was like right at the beginning of the pandemic. Like, you, you know what I'm saying guys? Like, I'm just saying, the results would have been a lot better if you just, you know, kept it up, you know? Get out. Now this show is about Mitchell, Tanner, Becky, and Templeton who go on crazy, wacky, and strange. <laughs> He said it! He said it! Adventures, mainly that take place in their high school, hence the name Strange Hill High. And when I say strange, I mean strange. Ranging from toilet squid monsters to literal giant chopping mouths. There was even a time when they messed with time travel at one point, so that's cool. The layout of the show is what you might expect given it's a childhood classic. It throws you into the deep end immediately expecting you to know the backstory and relations of each and every single character including their name, address, credit card number, social security number, email, passwords, and their first pet's name. Take notes, people! There's gonna be a test! Now, since I'm not going to cover the entirety of this series, I'm only going to focus on the first episode. And boy, howdy, is this something. But of course, for legal reasons, I have to say this. The following content you're about to see in this video is not claimed by JG Animation in any way, shape, or form, and is only using it for entertainment purposes only. Be sure to show support to the original creators by checking out the entirety of the content linked in the description down below. Anyway, onwards with the video! The episode begins in the best place that you can ever imagine. The restroom. I honestly don't know why, maybe these people were just really into poop jokes at the time or something? But anyway, Templeton is there cleaning the restrooms because he's been punished for... um... I don't know. Honestly, the best thing I can think of is running in the hallways, which is very common at my school for students who don't really care about class. And I guess for some reason, instead of just telling him not to run in the hallways, they just immediately force him to do toilet duty. I mean, you have managers for a reason. It's not the student's job to clean up. Anyway, Templeton is cleaning the restrooms while Becky and Mitchell are talking about their woodwork project that's due today, which shouldn't seem important at all, but it will in a minute. That's amazing! Pretty nice cross-cutting and flitching for someone who doesn't even know what that means, eh? No, I mean, it's amazing that you actually finished the project on time. Jesus, they're basically dragging us to the bottom of the pool at this point. As funny as that is, maybe just a brief introduction to these characters would be nice. Maybe just an abbreviation of their, I don't know, skills, hobbies, talents, relationships. Just something, please. Becky and Mitchell then head down the hallway to their next class, I believe, and then they run into this guy, whose name I don't know, so I'm just going to call him Fat Bully. And Fat Bully's like, hey, you got woodwork? Yeah, cool, give me your woodwork. No, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, fine. You, give me your woodwork. Eat wood, fatso. Then there's this epic chase scene with crazy music, blazing lights, and a shaky screen, because apparently the fat guy can actually pick up the pace. Not for long, though, because then he gets bombarded by a skateboard and then crashes into the bathroom. 
breaking a hole in the wall and revealing what seems to be a secret door. Mitchell looks at the guy and is like, hey bro, can you help me out here? No. He then breaks down the wall, opens the door, and reveals what has to be the grossest pooper I have ever seen in my life. Toilet of the gods. If you're talking about the god of brown stains, you are correct. Mitchell then finds a nice glowy wooden table, which gives him the idea to use it as his woodwork project since his last project was broken thanks to Fatso. We are then introduced to this guy, Mr. Abercrombie. He's a school principal or headmaster as they like to call him. That's actually a cool name. Headmaster. Man, I should start calling myself that. All right, everyone. For now on, you all have to refer to me as Headmaster Jaden, because I like that and it sounds cool. And I know that doesn't really roll off the tongue as well as Jaden, but I like it, so we're keeping it. Garbage! Abercrombie walks in, sees Mitchell dragging along the table, and he's like, Tana! <gasps> what are you doing in here? I, uh, needed a wee? With a table? It's a nice table. And you thought you'd drag it about in the toilets? Come on, dude, don't you like taking a dump with all your furniture? I mean, I do. The table then glows golden, hums angelically, and then for some reason triggers this statue to come to life. I'm sorry, but the last time I recall using a table, this is not how they work. So apparently this guard person has been standing there for like thousands of years, keeping the world safe by guarding the toilet. First of all, unless you're protecting the world from gonorrhea, I don't think this toilet is that big of a deal. And secondly, that man has to be a full-on trooper just to stand there for years on end, only to be awakened by grandma's furniture. Bro must be part of the royal guard, honestly. He then goes on about how the person who owns the table is his master. So then Mitchell is like, okay, dead. Bow down, peasant. Obviously he's lying, but whatever. They go on for a couple more scenes of Mitchell's new servant doing dumb things for him, like killing the math teacher, who is a robot, by the way. Robots will not rule the world, ever. He also chases away a couple of bullies into... guess where? Into the bathroom! How convenient. I bet nothing bad is going to happen here. <laughs> Sorry about that, that was just for me. After nearly a full day of shenanigans and fun crazy bits of the guard doing Mitchell's bidding. Abercrombie then shows up and is like, Oi! What? Why is the toilet no clean? Uh, I don't know. Then clean toilet before end of break or you in trouble. Hmm. Okay, first of all, how are you not questioning the extra bathroom stall that just appeared out of nowhere with a toilet that seems to have all the diseases in the world? Like, you literally looked at the broken wall. How are you not bringing any attention to that? And secondly, I thought cleaning the bathroom was Templeton's job. The guard is then like, who be that? That is headmaster. What is headmaster? It's like a leader. Do he want to fight? No. Are you sure? Yes. Are you not sure? No. Are you not 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 sure? Yes. All right, then I'll fight him. He's not the king! What? Meanwhile, the other guys are in the toilet getting bombarded by the nasty toilet monster. <gasps> it gave me a diabolical swirly. Given what's happening right now, I think he gave you more than a swirly, man. The guard then gets mad, takes Becky away, and confronts Mitchell about the situation. He says that, If you want the lady to be free, then you must fight me. But I don't want lady. Well, too bad, we're fighting anyway, because I've been encased in poo mud for thousands of years, and my hormones are all out of whack. Now, clearly, since this is a kid's show, the only way that they can safely fight in a family-friendly sort of way is with rock, paper, scissors. Luckily, I was able to download a software where AI took the information and made the fight not family friendly. So I'ma watch it for you guys. Okay, let's click right there and... The poop monster then breaks free from the stall and then there's an epic fight scene between the monster and the others that's just super epic and impactful. I can't even show it, but I'ma show it anyway! <laughs> Abercrombie is then making his way to the bathroom, and in order to stall and save time, Templeton comes out to have a normal conversation with him. Hi, Mr. Abercrombie. I was wondering how my pet hamster was doing, because that's always getting in the way of my application. So do you have any advice on how I can flex my shoes? What? The fight continues on as Mitchell loses at Rock, Paper, Scissors because he sucks butt, and almost gets his life taken away before he grabs... New Kitchen Dog! <laughs> Just kidding, it's just a cleaner called Excalibur. Which, by golly, I wonder why they named it that. Mitchell then immediately gains the upper hand by taking down the monster one tentacle at a time, saving Becky and the guard, and flushing the monster down the toilet with some very cheesy puns. 
Let's clean up. You're looking a little blushed. Honestly, I couldn't figure out what he said there. I played it so many times that at this point, I might as well just make it up as I go along. Anyway, the guard forgives him, frees Becky, and just before Abercrombie bursts into the bathroom to see the disaster that they have created, Mitchell opens up to the one person who can fix all of this. Jesus. Oh. My. Goodness. I've never seen such a clean lavatory. I don't know about y'all, but it looks exactly the same to me. Anyway, things wrap up as the guard returns back to the secret stall and guards the toilet as he speaks poetically. Remember me, for I love you. What? Nothing. Goodbye. We've saved the world and sealed the round table back up, so what are you going to hand in for your woodwork project? How quickly can you knit a wooden suit of armor? Jesus, this show is so cheesy, I might as well just add some pasta to it. Wait. Oh my god. No, I'm the cheesy one! Thank you all so much for watching this video. I know this isn't a lot like the other videos, but hey, it doesn't hurt to try something new, and that does it. And also, I really wanted to make this video because this was actually one of my favorite shows growing up, and despite the lack of quality, I still love it to this day. Again, none of the content used in this video is claimed by JG Animation in any way, shape, or form, and is only using this for entertainment purposes. I really just want to make that very clear to the YouTube robot before... This video gets taken down so if you want to see the full episode and more strange hill high i'll leave a link in the description down below where you can watch the whole thing and enjoy it anyway more projects to come be sure to like comment and subscribe and as always stay healthy